Hey everyone, I'm Joe and today I'm going to be talking about my top 5 most owned publishers. I've had the idea to do this video for over 6 months now and I haven't got around to it yet mainly because the thought of actually counting all my books via publisher is frankly not the easiest idea that I've had and isn't the most fun because I keep making mistakes and I keep having to recount repeatedly. This I think is accurate but again there's a lot of books that may not be truly accurate but I hope it is. So onto the publishers and the fifth most owned publisher is Pan. Two of the big authors within Pan that I own are Peter F. Hamilton which is just above my head here. The entire shelf actually is Hamilton and also China Mieville which is there and also I've took one of the books off to show you um, Pedido Street Station. This is a great big thing these are the ones with the colourful spine, as you can tell there. I love this book, and indeed I love all um, Mayable books. His writing style is really bizarre, and indeed that's the best way to describe his books, they're just weird. But they are extremely well written, and as long as you can get into them, I would greatly recommend his books. This one in particular, although it is pretty after. Oh, and Pan is UK based, and it's part of the larger Macmillan group as well, which I'm going to mention the uh, origin and indeed where each of the five publishers is located I think that's quite interesting. So next is the fourth most owned publisher and that would be Orbit. Orbit do an awful lot of uh, books, most of them tend to be slightly more science fiction and fantasy and indeed that's what I have them in and also Yuma and two of the most common authors or at least the most amount of books in that I am aware of is Tom Holt, this is one called Only Human which is um, sort of fantasy humour and it is extremely funny and extremely weird and the other one is unsurprisingly Robert Jordan uh, this is the Wheel of Time series this is the first book in it 14 of them until although I don't own them for the last three yet although I will do hopefully soon and this series is one that I like although I'm currently on a big break from it at the moment because I sort of went off fantasy briefly but Within a few months, I'm sure I'll get back into the series on book 8, I believe I left off. Uh, hopefully then. And Orbit is a UK publisher and it is based in London. So, so far it's 100% UK based. And it is also part of the larger Hachette group as well. Hachette is a big international. Next up is the third most owned publisher. And that would be Corgi. Corgi is a UK based publisher. They are part of the larger Penguin Random Mouth group, which is an international publishing uh, company. The main uh, author and indeed the main series that I have in these books, indeed it's very little else uh, in them, is Teipachi with the Discord books. This is the Hogfather, which considering the time of year, getting on for Christmas, I thought I'd show a Christmassy themed book for a change. Most of my Corgi books are within the Discord, basically. I've got like 30 something of them. Um, although I don't actually own all the Discord books for some odd reason, but although I do hope to fix that soon. And this is one that I obviously I love the Discord books, I love Tea Patchy, they are extremely important to me. And I just can't price Tea Patchy enough. I mean, I learned to read on him, so that's all that needs to be said. So, for my second most owned publisher. That would be Harper Voyager. This is part of the larger Harper Collins group, which owns quite a few other smaller imprints, of course. I mean, like all of these are either imprints or part of larger groups. Two of the big authors within these two groups that I happen to own, and also I'm trying to choose authors that are somewhat uh, more known, would be Isaac Asimov. This is iRobot, which they made a film of, which was okay, not brilliant, but not bad with Will Smith. Uh, over 10 years ago now, I have an awful lot of these um, Azimuth books in this particular design on my shelf right above me there, which you can't see, it's too high, but I have a big pile of them, about 12 of them now. There's still a lot more of them that I want to get, so that will take me a while though because there's a lot, frankly. I mean, Azimuth was a very busy author. And another author that I have quite a few books by within Harper is Kim Stanley Robinson. This is the Red Mars book, which is the first book in the Mars trilogy. I 
love this trilogy really badly. It is one of the most epic and most uh, thoughtful um, and trilogies within hard science fiction I've ever read. And I would recommend this to everybody who wants a really thoughtful and curious thought on what we could do if we move to another world and what potentially could happen. It's big ideas, big scale, and frankly, brilliant. And finally, my most owned publisher. This is actually probably fairly easy to guess if you've been watching my channel for a while. As you can see some of the books by the publisher, actually quite a few of them, behind me. And I've also got a link to the publisher and indeed I get some books by the publisher. And, it, and they are the only publisher I actually have a connection with for now. And that is Gallant. Gallant indeed do the yellow books which are there. Two of them would be Philip K. Dick, the, the Yellow Mind, and Arthur C. Clarke. I have an awful lot of masterworks. I have about almost half of the masterwork series now. So I've, I'm reasonably far into them. I have a lot more by um, Gallant, so I own some of the bigger um, part of this, which is the SF Gateway books, which are the giant yellow ones, which I've shown one or two of before which I have more than one or two of now, and I own books all over the place by them. I actually have more than twice as many books by Gallant as I do as the next nearest, which is Harper. I mean, I've got like 120, 130-ish books by Gallant. I, uh, Harper has only got about 55. So Gallant annihilates everybody as far as been the most owned publisher actually by a long margin over twice which is pretty extensive and frankly that lead is going to keep growing because I like the masterworks and a lot of what Gallant publishes I happen to like and I have links to them as I've said. Uh, Gallant are London based and indeed I know several of the Gallant staff to actually talk to relatively so this isn't going to change anytime soon. So that's it for my top five. All five of these are UK based publishers. They are all imprints of larger groups. Those groups are all international, which is frankly not that surprising really because there's only five or six like big publishing houses. Ultimately, you know, Hachette, uh, Penguin Random House or Random Penguin House as most people like to call it and several others, which I'm not going to talk about now. And all these smaller imprints are in gen generally by them. I mean, obviously there's loads of smaller independents, but for me, what I read tends to fall under the bigger groups, actually. I seem to not read many books by smaller independents, and even the ones I thought were actually independents actually aren't. They're part of bigger groups, which I only found out whilst checking um, the information for this video. So let me know what your most owned publisher, you know, top five, top three, top two, or just, or just the most owned publisher, and also which, where that publisher is from, because I'm very curious to see where people own books by, depending on where you live. I mean, I'm English, you know, I live in England, and all my books are indeed UK-based imprints. And I know several other people I talk to, like several of the Americans I talk to on a regular basis, they will obviously have a lot of books by American imprints of often the same big publishing groups that I have, just the American version. So just let me know. I mean, we can I know, find out where and all the publishers are from and where people buy books from. It's always quite interesting, I think. So that's it for this video. If you've read any of these books or would like to, then please leave a comment and obviously leave a comment on what your most owned publisher is or top couple of publishers and we can have a conversation. All of my social media links can be found in the description box below as they always are. And with that said, that is it for this video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you another day. Bye for now.